George are breathing a collective sigh of relief tonight after floodwaters stopped just short of disaster. But communities downstream haven't been so lucky. Fallon's levee has been breached, while Dirranbandi and Kanamala further west have the same anxious wait ahead. Phil Wilmington begins our coverage tonight from St George. And Phil, this is just never ending. Heather, you know, it's still too early to put an exact figure on the damage bill, but the Premier today reckoned it would run easily into the hundreds of millions of dollars. And it's far from over yet. These floodwaters have still got a long way to go. In St George, the water hasn't budged, but still, they do what they can. The town had dodged a bullet. The relief was just enormous and I felt that my shoulders just lifted. The danger zone is shifting as the floodwaters roll on. 20 kilometres southeast of St George, a mercy mission. Tom and Paula Hetherington's daughter is in Brisbane in desperate need of her passport. Well, she's leaving on Wednesday on an international flight. Without a passport, she can't leave the country. It's a little thing, but it means a lot to these isolated people. We embark on a kind of road trip, except this one is from the air it's the only way. That is a road, the road to Mungandai. The bitumen appears only fleetingly. Every here and there, little pockets of humanity stranded. How long have you been stuck here? Oh, we got here last Monday, so I've been here for nearly a week now. And how much longer do you reckon you'll be stuck? Oh, it could be another week. Luckily, the Nindy Gully pub is close by. It's surrounded by a one in 100 year flood. Privilege. A privilege it is. It's a privilege to have lived through this and seen it. They worry though about the people downstream. The sad thing is that there's probably a lot of devastation down there mm. and a lot to come I'd say. Next stop, the tiny town of Thallon. One third of it's underwater. The levee bank has breached. It breached last night apparently. They're building a new levee bank to try and protect the other side of town. But have a look at this. Just outside Thallon, an oasis of land in the middle of an inland sea. We're just, um, just trying to plug the leaks from the outside where we can, um, plug them from the inside and just work frantically. The SES had to make a difficult call whether to abandon the house. So you think you can save the house you've just looked at? Yeah, I think so. We're going to have a go anyway. They sure did. It's become a kind of rolling emergency as the vast quantities of water move down through the river systems. Town after town after town is being affected. This is Dirran Bandy, the next domino in the floodwaters way. Earth moving equipment is being worked furiously to build the levee around the town even higher. There's still a lot of water around and a lot of uh, heartbreak yet to come. In the meantime, spare a thought for all those who are surrounded, cut off, isolated. Luckily, they're waving, not drowning. And there will be some cl uh, schools closed out here in the southwest tomorrow. Uh, Thallon State School, Bolland State School and Peekadoo State School. So I guess, Heather, if you're a kid out here, floods aren't necessarily all that bad. <laughs> Any day off's a good day off for a kid. Thanks, Phil.